So in a second I'll show you how equalizers affect phase and magnitude at the same time if you're using minimum phase or just traditional phase but not linear phase. So minimum phase equalizers change it from this salmon color where the magnitude has a problem here to this purple color using the correction curve that I analyzed and then applied. So this is the capture in the salmon here with the dip. This is the correction in the white with the peak. And this is actually measured response after the correction. And this blue line up here is the actual line I'm going for because we need a band pass. And that's what I ended up with. So I'll just demonstrate here. So now I'm showing you the live. This dark blue is live. And I'm going to press bypass on the equalizer. Sink down with our problem, which is probably a lot to do with the enclosure I made. And then it raised back up and filled all these little holes. This is me talking, by the way. These. That was me whistling, right? So when I shut up, it goes flat. Moving the camera back a bit, the phase will drop down on measured phase. So here the phase is a bit more linear when it's corrected. This little thing here is like a measurement anomaly. This jump. I can actually take the phase smoothing off. You see it's kind of a an unbroken line if you look at it in unsmoothing. And if I put track on and move the mic closer to take the room out of the equation. You can see the phase is kind of unbroken through there with a bit of a jump. <laughs> Who knows? The magnitude is showing flat, so I never take phase literally, just concentrate on the magnitude. 